moved on to oil painting. And that was uh, like my first, uh, you know, uh, being acquainted with uh, oil paint. And um, so, yeah, that was, uh, I think I was um, 17, maybe. Something like so that. So on, uh, in the 17, you, you, you um, I mean, when you have 17 years old, you started already to paint academic, yeah? Uh, so it was like uh, academic drawing, but the painting was uh, not really academic. It was more like, uh, I don't know. I know, like academic. Learning to paint. Yeah, academic means a lot of pencils, correct? Uh, so with drawing, yes, we uh, were drawing with pencil and we drew, you know, uh, like a gypsum, um, like uh, chalk no heads, uh, no, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, like um, also live models, but also, um, you know, the, um, uh, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> like when you ho have um, like a model that's, that is made from, I think it's a gypsum or something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Like um, like a sculpture. I, I know. know, yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I so. know. I did similar, but already uh, I did similar, but in, in university. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, okay, and now I understand a bit. Um, but why you choose uh, oil to paint with oil? Um, Do you think this is uh, this is the only material you prefer, or you understand better the oil? So, <laughs> uh, so um, you know, when uh, I was uh, learning to paint, we were all painting, learning to paint with oil. It was yeah, the material okay. that we all used. Oh, and okay. um, I never really wanted to change it to anything else because uh, it is uh, so, uh, you know, versatile uh, mm -hmm. in a way that you can paint, you know, ver very thinly or, uh, with glazes or you can paint... Uh, you know, with yeah. uh, thick uh, brush strokes. And uh, also, I think it's very nice to work with because of, uh, you know, the texture of the paint. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, did try painting with uh, different, uh, you know, other uh, materials uh, like acrylic and wash and a little bit watercolor. Um, but it's just like to uh, try out new yeah. materials. But, you know, oil is uh, the one that uh, I like the mm -hmm. most. And also oil is, uh, you can, uh, I don't know, you can maybe disagree with me. Uh, if you do a mistake, it's very easy to cover the mistake. Is it true? Uh, yes. Yes, I think so. You know, um, sometimes uh, uh, when uh, you paint with, uh, you know, thick uh, layers, uh, mm -hmm. then... Uh, and the paint is dry, it's not so easy, you know, if you want to add some details after uh, that, like, because uh, there are a lot of texture, but, um, but in terms of, uh, you know, adding layers and layers and uh, changing something, yes, it's easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, my way was to start with watercolor, and now I am with foil. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> so, it's quite strange, but um, I always know that uh, oil is my thing mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, why do you know that <laughs> because uh, i always like the um, the plein air with oil mm -hmm. e even if it's a bit of mess dirty <laughs> uh yeah so now i have a lot of watercolor uh i um, um sell it a bit on ebay Mm -hmm. the half of my watercolor and the rest I keep it just in case if uh, I want to do something very quickly so mm -hmm. uh, um, I don't know is yeah it's quite strange uh, how the artist go to the path and uh, go to the, this material or that material but if you have this uh, chance and luck to start in academic and paint there, so probably this is, was your path. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I guess. Because yeah, because in in my school of art, we did. I just did the the two, only two, oil painting. Mm -hmm. 
in four years. <laughs> mm-hmm. The rest was watercolor. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. I actually I like watercolor too, but I cannot figure out how to work with it because it is so different from oil. <laughs> you just it's like you have to work in reverse. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, you need to ha- to plan ahead with watercolor, yeah. and uh, the movement should be very consciousness. It's like a bit crazy. How can a painter be in the same way <laughs> conscious? consciousness what he's doing so yeah when i have mood i paint with watercolor uh, also i uh, follow a lot of uh, artists in watercolor maybe um, i will find something new even for example if the uh, artist is wor- working in watercolor but in a way similar with oil painting i can use that too so this is will be like an inspiration for for me yeah. and yeah so um, now, because it's a lot of uh, mixed media, especially here in UK, <laughs> so um, I I look some I follow some exhibition in London, but um, it's uh, totally different than East Europe <laughs> where we are. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, so did you follow any university later, if I can ask? Uh, yes, I uh, did um, apply to the Art Academy of Latvia. Uh-huh. So I have uh, a bachelor's degree. Um, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> now, I un- now I understand why your paintings are, so, are looking so great. <laughs> well, actually... I cannot credit much of it to the art academy. <laughs> okay, okay. So do you think the education... Um, also, another question is if the painter should have a, a proper education or can be a self-taught artist, as many as now you can see around. <laughs> they just find the style and they're doing the same thing. Or do you think they uh, need to follow... Um, course or academy or uh, uh, university i don't know (laughs) what is your opinion i think there is no like one correct way Mm -hmm. Uh, it really depends on the person at and uh, it depends uh, you know um, also on uh, where they live because the quality of education is very different and also you know the uh, like if you compare the education in Europe, it's more like com- contemporary and conceptual mm-hmm. art, I think. And um, in Latvia, it's something like neither that nor this, maybe, mm-hmm. because we had, uh, you know, models and we had a, a painting from nature and all that. But at the same time, uh, what was really valued was uh, the idea and something very, you know, um, unique and new. Mm -hmm. So it was like something in between. Uh, uh, So, you know, uh, also, um, I think that uh, education and degree is not the same thing because uh, you can get education from, uh, you know, reading books, uh, watching, uh, you know, different artists uh, on the internet. Yeah, big masters, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, So... uh, it really, um, um, it really, really depends. depends. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. there are some uh, advantages to you know going through an art academy. Like uh, you know you have a uh, studio space where you can work, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, well, at least before the quarantine <laughs> when the education was still you know not online. Uh, now it's so, so different. So at your university, you receive a space to work. Yeah. Yes, yes. I mm-hmm. I thought it was like a common practice, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah so uh, also the cool thing about uh, the Art Academy for me was that uh, I could also try, uh, you know, different other materials, like not just painting, but uh, I did uh, a glass uh, course, mm-hmm. um, uh, ceramics, uh, graphic art, a little bit of sculpting. So in that sense, it's, uh, you know, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. You have different... And later you can choose, uh, you can mix, for example, 
uh, I, I see that painters do that. Uh, for example, illustration with ceramics, and they mm -hmm. sell both. So it, it is a great idea, I think, to not to have only one product created by you, but to have uh, many options. So um, to be honest, I would like to, I'm, I have a, an interest in ceramics, maybe in the future, um, but prob I imagine you need to have a lot of uh, uh, stuff, for example, an, an oven, is true? Yes, yes, <laughs> you need, uh, and it's like not just a, a simple oven, it's, uh, I think it has a, a very, very high temperature, which mm -hmm. uh, you cannot really you know do on your own and mm -hmm. uh, but uh, i think there is also a possibility to you know do uh, things on your own and then find uh, some workshop where you can bring it and uh, they uh, you know put it in the oven for you um okay it's a good idea i need to look in my area to look yeah. at, <laughs> at workshops but anyway you need to pay for for uh, that yeah, uh, what was with my art academy, what was uh, good that it was free. <laughs> yeah. You know, the education was free. Can I ask you, when did you finish the university? Uh, it was almost two years ago. Two years ago, okay. Yes, mm. So you're quite a young artist. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. <laughs> um, so great. I'm uh, 26 years old now and... Uh, uh, I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. You anyway. Um, I can see in your paintings a lot of um, uh, impressionism style. If I can ask you, is it? Uh, are you doing uh, the color mixture on purpose, or this is this? On you feel that uh, it doesn't matter is an impressionism style or other style so for that reason mm -hmm. I uh, I um, choose to talk with you because uh, I don't know I see similar things from impressionism right? okay I think there's some question yeah can you give us something out of pencil shades mm, practice I think uh, pencil shades w what do you mean like uh... advice I you know, understand like uh, as an advice is it correct Obhi. yeah please tell us more what you're asking <laughs> I, th I think that about pencils is a, it's a lot of practice and um, it's really if you do a mistake with one line for example you it's really difficult. You need to put another layer. So I think the uh, practice is more important. I think uh, if you don't uh, like uh, apply too much pressure to the paper, yeah. uh, it's uh, quite easy to erase. Also, okay. Uh, it's uh, important to you know use um, like the correct um, softness of the pencil. If maybe that's what you were uh, referring to, the like. Uh, more harder pencils and more soft pencils and uh, you really shouldn't try to you know uh, draw like very um, light shades with uh, very soft pencils because otherwise it will be much uh, darker than you want and it will be hard to you know erase it so I, I don't know <laughs> okay let's uh, come back to my question so do you think your paint paintings is real is um, has an uh, any style and is it impressionist style okay <laughs> uh, the, this question was not in the list of questions that you sent oh, okay. me <laughs> so i have to think about it <laughs> a little bit uh, so um okay sorry about that <laughs> no it, it's fine it's fine <laughs> really i didn't expect like to be everything to be like uh, out of uh, you know after mm -hmm. that list, but I did prepare a little bit so that I wouldn't be yeah. like caught off guard. Um, so maybe it was uh, like the influence of the studio that uh, I was learning to paint in, uh, because mm -hmm. we had like a very, uh, you know, um, this colorful approach and it w painting was all about color. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, like, uh, the, you know, I guess biggest influence was uh, Cezanne 
uh, uh -huh. and uh, his style and you know other painters also uh so i think much of this come uh, much of my style comes from that um i don't uh -huh. uh, particularly particularly uh, yeah i don't try to stick to one style i, I think uh -huh. uh, i um try more uh, actually to um, you know uh, experiment and uh, uh paint differently um at least in the last uh, you know year or two i have been trying that um but uh yeah uh, you know if you mentioned uh, impressionist and um you know, if you had also post-impressionists, that's probably the, you know, painters I love the most because of their use of color. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it's not, of course, not the only art uh, painters uh, I love, but uh, probably it's the ones that influence me the most. So can you say that you like the style of Cezanne? Oh, yes, I... I like it very much. I love uh, Van Gogh is my favorite artist, mm -hmm. but also I love Rembrandt very much. It's uh, it's completely different thing, <laughs> and my painting is not is of course nothing like that. But uh, I would I don't know I would love to you know paint more portraits and uh, try something more like that. Um, have you seen any original painting from uh, yes. this artist? Yes. In Latvia, is oh, it the... no, no. 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 Um, ah, you went somewhere, yeah? Yes, I used to travel uh, quite uh, frequently before the pandemic. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is one of the things I really miss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I can was, imagine. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, like uh, a couple of days ago. I was remembering like this feeling of being in the museum and looking at the painting in real life, and you know. It's such an amazing feeling that I miss so much. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, but I think uh, no matter how many times you see a painting like this in the museum, you can always, you know, uh, uh, see something new when you come back to it. And, uh, yeah. If you don't mind, I can send some uh, paintings from um, here, which I saw it in National Gallery. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, uh, during the pandemic, I have a gap and I went very quickly to the museum. And because uh, now the museums are in only one way, you need to look only one way. Mm -hmm. So I saw the whole museum <laughs> in one hour. <laughs> so I can send you a few. And always I stopped to impressionist style. I don't know why. And uh, I always find something new because the museum are changing the places of the paintings and the shadows and the light. Hello? <laughs> yes, yeah, I and can the shadows hear you and are I can in the light it. in the. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'm telling the, the, the paintings are. Um, are the staff from the museum are changing the paintings all the time. Mm -hmm. to be more interested and you always can see something new in that painting <laughs> the color the, the the composition you can see oh, wow it's something uh, it's a different one yeah i think it's great that they're uh, you know changing it be because uh, you might notice something new <laughs> you know every time you go you uh, yeah you probably will notice many new paintings because of it yeah, uh, Arthur, uh, your friend uh, said, uh, uh, "Lena Molodets." Okay, he well. he is great support, probably. Uh, uh -huh, just up, okay. just thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I can see that's my husband. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he is very supportive. He he knew I was nervous, uh, so. <laughs> Oh, come on. You you look great. Your paintings are great. So uh, um, all I understand everyone has fear, but we need to say hello to her, <laughs> to the fear. I uh, read this uh, advice uh, from uh, a book, um, Creative Artist, Cameron, if you heard about 
mm-hmm. this book is a very famous book and uh, I uh, I follow this that it always exists a fear for sure that uh, Cezanne uh, also had something also in the mind but they painting and uh, promoting the art for sure <laughs> Another question. I, I'm not sure if I want to put the picture with uh, I prepare. Before was. I don't know. Yeah, before was easy to put the picture with your painting and we can discuss it, for example. Mm-hmm. Now it was it's a... uh, changed, like so, uh, something ch- changed, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I saw a, I noticed a picture with plein air, and I mm-hmm. saw a sea, and your and your staff are doing so. Do you do any plein air near your house, or do you need to go far away? So how is um, um, is this for you? Uh, so um, I usually don't go too far. Uh... I uh, go like maybe twenty, thirty minutes by car. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, it's the amount of time it takes me to go to the sea, for example. I live quite nearby, mm-hmm. um, so um, yeah, it depends on what I want to paint. I usually think about that first, uh, and uh, then uh, you know I choose where to go. But um, there are many interesting places around Riga. That's the capital of Latvia, and that's where mm-hmm. I live. Um, you know, there are different uh, parks as well. And uh, uh, of course, if you want to, you know, paint uh, something like um, the fields and something like that, then you have to go farther away. But um, I don't typically do that. But uh, what happened? Do you, do you need to be in the moon? Or do you need to have, uh, for example, the weather should be fine and you'll go straight away? How do you... Because I'm, I try to do plein air mm-hmm. and uh, my struggle is if I don't see sun, so that means I need to change all my plans. For example, I will paint home. Mm-hmm. And it's, so I am looking uh, for um, an advice. How, how is your way? To, to do plein air, for example, I'm doing only in the summer, or I should have a good mood. <laughs> mm, I usually do plein air in the summer. Mm-hmm. So, uh, sometimes, you know, in the autumn and spring also when it's warm, I um, I really um, don't know how to paint, paint in the cold. I would really love to uh, do plein air in winter, but I'm a little bit, you know... I have to figure it out first <laughs> so I don't get sick because uh, I don't like the cold. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, um, the weather, uh, of course, it really depends on the weather. Uh, for example, in, in Latvia, uh, it's like uh, rainy all the time. <laughs> Same <laughs> as here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I was, uh, some time ago, I was uh, comparing, you know, London and the uh, Riga in terms of how much rain uh, we have and Riga has even more rain than London so (laughs) um, so, but it's a wonderful city I have a friend from Riga it's a she sent me architecture is really pretty oh yes we have a lot of that Uh, so uh, it's always like for me I'm thinking uh, you know ahead of time like I want to go pl- to plan air tomorrow but I I look at the we- you know weather forecast mm-hmm. but if I can see that it's probably going to be raining I will not go um or I might if I want to go very much I might do that but I will work very fast <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, you know to um, so you challenge yeah. yourself like uh, yeah maybe <laughs> Uh, sometimes it really depends I think you you do have to have a certain mood for it because uh, it's uh, challenging uh, in terms of uh, everything (laughs) you know Mm -hmm. you have to find the place uh, you have to you know uh, uh, have uh, all of your stuff with you you have to like Mm -hmm. uh, paint the whole painting in a couple of hours which also takes uh, I think a lot of energy Um, I don't know some people yeah yeah Uh, some people what (laughs) uh, some people uh, I can see you know on Instagram that some artists like do only 
planar painting and uh, a lot of it but um, for me I like to have the balance of you know working in the studio and going uh, you know somewhere to paint mm -hmm. yeah I agree mm -hmm. yeah so for that reason in the studio you can paint fruits and plein air you're doing plein air yeah, we have a question. Where do you get um, your artist inspiration during the pandemic? Very great question. Yes. Um, so, uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Do you read any book? Maybe you have some books or maybe you just look at the flowers and you get the inspiration. I don't know. Yeah, I do read books. I, you know... Um, also uh, look at what other artists are doing sometimes uh, and uh, if I notice something that you know I think is very cool sometimes I want to you know try it myself and uh, then uh, of course it, it becomes something completely else but it's uh, one of the uh, of the things that uh, you know inspire me is in other people's work um, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, for me um, you know, uh, the most important thing for inspiration is uh, being, uh, you know, calm and uh, <laughs> not uh -huh. stressed. Because uh -huh. um, when I'm stressed, it's really hard to paint. And uh, now in the pandemic, it has, you know, it has been challenging for everybody, I think. For that reason, all the paintings which you are doing in the pandemic, the prices are rising. Because it's very difficult to manage the anxiety things with creating things. It's like pff, opposite, of course. And I notice because here in um, in UK, uh, the prices are going up mm -hmm. because now the people are staying more inside. Yeah, we don't have now lockdown, but and they want something nice inside. And uh, the the paint paintings with I don't know with uh, hand drawing and the color it will be wonderful and inspiration for for any homes and for that reason pricing are rising a lot mm -hmm. uh, and I'm very happy to see for example even um, I was a bit um, like. Um, mm, confusing about plein air because plein air it's around 300 um, pound if you're going out and you're doing a painting it's around this price but i noticed that uh, exist painters which are selling much more for example three times more and it's okay <laughs> for example it's okay um, because um, to mix for example, the paintings from memory and plein air is totally different. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I noticed that from memory, from if you're painting from memory, uh, much expensive. But I'm very happy to see paint painting which are from plein air, which are also expensive as as well. So, <laughs> so the I, uh, the art yeah. I think is moving here a lot. I think uh, also the prices of the work um, are, you know, sometimes are like sometimes so st strange to understand. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, um, I don't know uh, if there is like a, you know, certain price like this is plein air and, and that means it has to have this price. I mean, it really depends on the size of the work and uh, on also the materials you use. Like uh, I noticed that some oil painters use... Uh, paper for oil paint and I think it's um, it also you know ref the price uh, you can see it in the price that is uh, another material because uh, all the materials for oil painting are quite expensive yeah for example I start to paint with uh, on the uh, paper for oil mm -hmm. and uh, for me it's better because I don't um, make uh, mistakes so for example on canvas mm -hmm. and i know and i know this paper i can throw it away but the canvas you need to cover again <laughs> with one color and so but uh, i have a few canvases so what do you think about paper is it good or bad to paint on the paper <laughs> um 
Okay, firstly, I will say hi to Sun Artist from Thailand <laughs> because, uh, you know, there is. A yeah, comment. hi. Uh, he, he, we did an he, interview with him as well. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for listening. Uh, so, um, paper versus uh, canvas. I did try painting on paper a little bit uh, for uh, like the same reason that you said uh, it's, um, you know, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, ruining an expensive canvas. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, also with canvas, what I often do, I just paint over an old painting. Uh -huh. um, uh, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's and probably not... later they will make x-ray and they can see two paintings <laughs> not only one <laughs> oh yeah if somebody will care enough <laughs> to do this then yes but uh you know um i don't know if you like painting on paper uh, um that's uh, you know your own artistic choice it, it really depends on the person i think yeah <laughs> well, <laughs> i have a few campuses but uh... They are too big. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, storing paper paintings is much easier <laughs> than uh, painting some canvas. They take up a lot of space. Yeah, but do you have a studio and you have space, correct? Yeah, I do have a studio. It's uh, not very large, uh, uh -huh. but I, I am not running out of space yet. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. But I, I don't paint very large canvases also. So if I did, I wouldn't have enough space. The next question is about material. Irisha, do you know Irisha? Uh -huh. No, I know. Hi, uh, Laysan. Hey, thanks. <laughs> okay, uh, so the next question. Yeah, the next question, um, which material do you prefer? For example, do you prefer any brand, uh, brushes, or in oil? Um, so, uh, with brushes, uh, I don't have a specific, uh, you know, preparation for any brand. I do have a couple of uh, expensive brushes, like... Um, uh, hmm. Da Vinci brushes, I think I have oh. one or two. Uh, because I wanted to try them and see, is it really worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? Well, I have one that is very... Uh, I'll show it to you. I have it okay. here. <laughs> I have uh, this one. It's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been painting with this for almost a year. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, not, not every time I paint, I use it, but uh, it is holding up very nicely. Um, another uh, from this brand I have, it's like a uh, usual brush. <laughs> I don't see uh -huh. much difference. So uh, usually I, um, you know, paint with quite, uh, you know, simple uh, brushes. Um, what about I, the color? Uh, the Sorry. paint? Uh, I do use uh, two brands of paint. Mostly I use uh, Masterclass. It's a uh -huh. Russian brand of paint. Um, and uh, it's because it's, uh, you know, uh, the price to quality ratio is uh, probably the best that uh, I can buy here, I think. Um, I also have started using Rembrandt paint and uh, it is much is more it... expensive. <laughs> yeah, I know. Is it more pigment? Is it... Oh, yes. How do you think? Oh, okay. Uh, it's much more pigmented. Uh, well, some colors are um, not that different, uh, but I think mostly they are uh, much more pigmented uh, and uh, they also have a different texture. So, um, like, uh, Masterclass is much more thick, um, mm -hmm. but uh, Rembrandt is more like a buttery, you know. Uh, so... Um, yeah. So you can put uh, more uh, finer layers with Rembrandt. Uh yes, you need uh, la if you w want to add some medium, you need less of it, uh, which is I think better uh, in terms of you know techno no, technologically. Uh, uh, yeah, you can yeah, you, you if you want like to get a very thick texture with Rembrandt. I don't know if it's uh, possible. I uh, like mix them, uh, you know, together, these two brands. Uh, so I use uh, Rembrandt mostly for some specific colors. Um, 
which they have or uh, like for uh, they have very beautiful transparent colors also mm -hmm. okay I, I should try to buy just a few Rembrandt <laughs> oh yeah they're nice <laughs> because master class I cannot see here and uh, mm -hmm. I bought it from Moldova mm -hmm. the master class painter and the cheapest one here is Van Gogh mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, probably the, the twice expensive as Van Gogh is Rembrandt. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think they're uh, like the same uh, brand, but a different line. If I am not mistaken. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Royal Talents. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about canvases? Do you make it your own canvases, or do you you prefer to buy it already made, primed, and? Mm. I do both. Um, okay. <laughs> when I am not lazy, I make my own canvases. <laughs> uh -huh. But, you know, there is a whole different set of problems that comes with that because uh -huh. uh, I can never figure out how to make, uh, like, a, a good, uh, you know, how to prime them well. So uh, uh, it's always, like, a surprise in the end if uh, <laughs> if they work well. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But uh, I enjoy working on uh, my own canvases much more um, mm -hmm. than on, you know, the both canvases. But I uh, uh, often buy canvases too. Also about canvases, do you prefer cotton uh, texture or lin linen? Because um, they are totally different. The cotton is much, uh, the material is much huge. And the linen. So, which one you prefer? Um, when I buy canvases, I buy whatever, <laughs> whatever <laughs> they have. <laughs> and when I make my own, uh, I usually try different things. Uh, okay. I I think I don't have one specific, uh, you know, preference. I like to have um, a little bit like more texture to canvas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for. Um... And to be so honest about this and uh, uh, you know, to give me so much advice. Um, also, do you uh, quarantine has an impact to you as an artist? Mm. Like lockdown, quarantine? Uh, so we didn't have a complete lockdown. Uh, we, you know, I can go to my studio every day still. Um, so in that sense, uh, probably no, um, mm -hmm. but you know, like we were talking before, uh, it's really important to be, you know, not stressed when you're making art. Uh, and, uh, for me, yeah. the whole uh, pandemic, uh, you know, it gives me a lot of, uh, stress and anxiety, uh, and it is sometimes, uh, hard to concentrate and, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes it's hard because of that. But uh, it mm -hmm. was interesting for me that you said that, uh, you know, the prices for art are rising in England. Um, because uh, I think uh, that uh, people are not buying art right now as much as they used to because, you know, the whole economic crisis. I don't know, maybe, you know, the, it's uh, different in different places. Um, because I have had some people who, you know, were interested uh, in mm -hmm. some specific work, but, uh, you know, they also said that they cannot afford it right now mm -hmm. because of the situation. Um, that's mean uh, you will do another one and you're going to sell this one now, which they, the person who they want. Uh, I, yeah. So you can always make a poster of the paint, uh, painting. Yeah, and, print, yes. Yeah, print. And uh, you can say, okay, if you, you cannot afford this painting now, um, I can make a poster. And another yeah. thing also exists, for example, you prefer this painting so much, you can pay me every, uh, like a credit. I notice here. Yeah. People are doing. <laughs> really? 
artist yes yeah. i will yeah i will sell you i will, i will send you an artist which they are, for example the paint uh, painting costs 2500 but you pay 200 each month for example mm -hmm. and they agreed with that because they uh, love so much this painter so it's kind of a contract and it's, and also in in the galleries I went to London Mola, uh, Mall Gallery. So, in the when you see the price, the big price, and down you can see the you you can buy you can buy this painting in rate uh, divided in four times, and the and the painter uh, is waiting for this money, so it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, but I think uh, if, uh, you know, if you're selling through gallery, then uh, it's easier in that way that, uh, you know, you will not have a situation where you send your artwork and you will not get the money in the end. <laughs> yeah. Because it can also happen. Yeah, it depends. If it's, if it's your friends and it's quite close to you, you can try this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Or you can try to sell poster. Um, I always... Uh, Mm, I don't know. For example, I have a, a calendar. Yeah, if you don't, you cannot. Uh, for example, if you cannot have money for big painting. You always can buy a calendar. Yeah, you can yeah. have many, you know, options for people. Yes. Yeah. So um, this is the calendar from Yojen Yojen Gorean. Maybe you know. Mm, no, I uh, no. <laughs> Watercolor artist. Okay. That thing. Yeah. So yeah, so um, this is my question. Thank you for sharing all this information. Uh, do you have um, uh, <laughs> a situation uh, like in the plein air, which is funny? Did you do you have such a situation? Maybe you can tell to us. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about funny. <laughs> When people are approaching you and you need to <laughs> say... Oh, yes, I can I can tell you one. Like I mentioned before that sometimes I paint over my old paintings uh, and uh, there were situations where I just, uh, you know, have started, uh, you know, I have set up uh, my whole, uh, you know, palette and things and uh, there is this painting and it's usually turned somewhere like upside down or, uh, and it's an old painting and I, I don't know, I just uh, put like uh, some outlines uh, over it of uh, what I'm drawing. Uh, painting and there are people uh, you know going <laughs> by uh, sometimes I can hear comments like well uh, you know um, RCC thinks so differently <laughs> and, oh, yeah um, I think it's uh, you know uh, also until people see the complete work it's yeah. really hard to imagine how it is going to look um, And uh, also when there is like, a, I don't know, still life or a portrait and there is uh, like some parts of the landscape over it, it can look strange. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I totally, and also how uh, I totally agree with this because you see the um, everything still life and the trees are moving, uh, everything, the sun is moving and you need to capture something very fast. And in the end, you listen that, oh, it's, you look, <laughs> you see, of course, you, you need to see different, the, all the things. For example, the shadows is one color, yeah? It's no, it doesn't exist shadow, this color, or, I don't know. I don't know if you, <laughs> if it's, you understand me. Because uh, also if you do a la prima, yeah? Mm -hmm when you you do very quickly so it's just an imp impression it's not a it's not a <laughs> it's like impression abstract art more because um, i i i talk with my family and i said look i like this painting and they said this is an abstract <laughs> you like abstract <laughs> but it's not true is is um, just an impression 
of that artist and it's okay <laughs> it shouldn't be finalized and detailed as was 500 years ago <laughs> i don't know if you have time you can finalize but if you need to do just quickly <laughs> so yeah sure i uh I also, uh, you know, I think that at least for me, uh, I try to make my plein air paintings like a complete painting. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't have to have a million details. It doesn't have to, you know, uh, look like, uh, you know, very realistically or something like that. But uh, I think uh, the completeness of the work is not in the details. So, you know, uh, you can see it in abstract art that it, it can look very, you know, complete, but uh, there are no details or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so do you um, finish the plein air painting in your studio sometimes? Or? Uh, sometimes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. When, uh, you know, when uh, the weather has changed so much that I there is really not much point trying to finish it uh, on location or uh, when I just cannot, you know, manage to finish it. Sometimes I do that. Um, sometimes I just uh, leave it uh, as it is. Mm -hmm. I think, mostly I think I leave it as it is. Also, the last question. What is your um, advice for the future artists or amateurs? who want to, to, they are choosing this path, path, but they are struggle and they are not sure to continue or not, or why they are doing this. So what is your advice? Because you have so many, so much experience and so many years behind you. <laughs> so um, I have uh, many years of painting, I would say behind me, but um, as uh, we talked before, I finished uh, the Art Academy two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, it's uh, it hasn't been completely easy for me mm -hmm. also. I think it's um, never easy for artists uh, <laughs> because... Uh, it's not a, it's not an easy choice <laughs> you know yeah. there is a, there are a lot of advantages in it if you can do it uh because if you really love it then you're doing what you really love and that's uh, mm -hmm. i think like very very nice but uh so the advice i would give um probably is to have patience mm -hmm. um and uh also, uh, to not get discouraged by other people's opinions, mm -hmm. because uh, I don't know for you how how it uh, in terms of you know uh, uh, everyone around you if uh, they were supportive when you decided to become an artist or not. But uh, I think uh, it's uh, something that not everybody will understand, and um, yeah. uh, there will definitely be people who will not uh, consider it like a career choice at all. Um, and uh, I think you have to understand that uh, it's uh, their opinion. Uh, Very and... good advice. Nobody, <laughs> nobody give this ad advice um, in, before in my, uh, my interview. <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yes. Um, also... I think, um, you know, uh, one one more thing I can say that uh, if you're like a beginner art, artist, um, like you, you want to become a professional artist, uh, you have to show your work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like, I think it's obvious in some way, but uh, for me, it was hard, you know, to start okay. uh, showing my work to people, to start posting it. And sometimes I, I often uh, still get anxious when I uh, post something. I'm not mm, quite confident. You work so amazing. Imagine <laughs> if you if you not post your works, we will not talk about this. And, yes. <laughs> and yeah. seven people will not watching us. Imagine <laughs> this is this is incredible. So uh, good that you 
did that. <laughs> yes, uh, I agree with you, but you know, um, I think what's important is you know, uh, like being maybe sometimes being scared, but doing it anyway. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And also, uh, you know, um, something else I could uh, say uh, is uh, in the has uh, his uh, strong sides and um, it's, mm-hmm. it's important to understand what it is for you and uh, mm-hmm. you know um, I guess it's I can say this from you know my own experience that don't try to change yourself uh, don't try to you know do something the way somebody else is doing you uh, doing it because uh, in the end uh, you will uh, come back to yourself. I understand. Uh, yeah. yeah, you probably will, and uh, maybe you, you will probably learn something uh, along the way. And I think it's great to try new things and you know work on your weak uh, sides. But uh, just I think um, you know if you're uh, good with one thing, then uh, mm, yeah. I understand what you mean. Yeah, it's very good advice because people are struggling, going to therapists, going, I don't know, doing a lot of things in the end. They come back to what they want, you know? (laughs) Yeah. And they are doing the same thing which they did 10 years ago. Yeah, for example. Yeah, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) So, I don't know. I feel uh, your advice is very... Um, reasonable and very close to my experience as well so Mm -hmm. I don't know (laughs) it's very strange yeah Yeah, that well also they are good advices but uh, I have a very nice feeling about this (laughs) don't change yourself to be passionate to don't listen to other people I think this is uh, the, the, the great advice well, I, I didn't mean like never listen to other people. It's good to have some criticism. Uh, like it's good to be able to receive criticism because you can learn from it. But yeah. the criticism is not always constructive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, And you yeah. have to be able to distinguish it from, like when, when it can uh, help you and uh, when it's, mm-hmm. it's not helping you in any way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I hope people understand us correctly. Yeah, and... I'm sure, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And thank you for your honesty and uh, your, you share so many, you know, thoughts and experience about uh, your path. And uh, I hope uh, with these advices, people will make the path much shorter and start to paint. <laughs> I can give some more advice. <laughs> yeah, okay. <You> know? <laughs> uh, what? For example... Uh, uh one thing i have been telling myself lately very mm-hmm. much is um um that i should not be afraid to make bad art <laughs> mm-hmm. because uh um not every artwork will be good uh mm-hmm. they might be only if you're doing one and the same thing all the time mm-hmm. but if you are trying something new and you're trying to learn and uh you know, for me, I, I have been uh, really wanting to paint portraits more. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is not something I have a lot of experience in. And there are many bad portraits that I have <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, uh, but, you know, uh, I think for me, it's good to separate uh, myself from my work in a way. To know that this is not a reflection of who I am as a person. Yeah, uh, my advice is to look at Dali interview on YouTube, and Dali, the the painter, is saying from the third person that he somebody did that painting, not him, like somebody. So it's so incredible that to make a division between your work and you as a person is is amazing. This idea, I. Uh, when I saw that video, it's, it's incredible. I totally agree with you. I don't know, have you seen that video? 
No, I haven't, no? but I will watch it definitely. Yeah, watch it. It's he's a crazy guy, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um okay, so uh so many advices and everything. I also want to mention that you um did your website. Oh yes, finally. And, <laughs> and you it looks so amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> and um will you sell your art through your website now? Well, hopefully. But uh you know, <laughs> I don't have like a shop integrated yet. It's okay. more like a portfolio, but um I um you know, I do believe in uh, that it's better to sell directly and to buy directly from the artist um, versus via gallery because, uh, um, I don't know, I think, for example, if uh, I, I do sell on such art as well, yeah. but, um, well, uh, you know, all ga galleries take quite big commissions and in the mm -hmm. end the price is much uh, larger. And yeah. uh, so my question is, I just wonder, will you from such a gallery, you'll uh, you'll remove all the paintings and put your website or you're going to keep both? Uh, I am planning to keep it um, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe later when I have like a shop in my website where uh, you know, people can uh, directly come and, and buy work, not just, you know, by a contact. Uh, for now, I think people can just, uh, you know, see my work and contact me there through, uh, or for email or for my social media. But uh, yeah, when I think maybe when I will uh, have a shop, then maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's an open question. For, for me. me, I will buy all your paintings, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> If I will have that money, trust me, I it's, I can see in this in your paintings your a soul and attitude and and I see that you construct that painting, not just not thinking and just paint, but you you think so much, and I can see a good composition. The lighting, the shadows are great, so uh, for sure they will sold very very quickly because people need something and inspiration in their homes, especially now. And um, thank you so much. For yes, th thank you <laughs> as well. For, you, <laughs> for your uh, everything and experience. And I will share uh, with you some paintings and inspiration mm -hmm. later, yeah? And yeah. thank you for all the people watching us. Yes, thank you, everyone, everybody, for you know commenting something and writing and, uh, and uh, no, hi, thanks. <laughs> and um, buy art and support artists. I want yes. to tell you <laughs> another thing. Did you know about support artist pledge? Yes, I do know about it. Yes. Yeah, okay, so you can try. <laughs> with yeah, <laughs> you can try to sell with artist support pledge, and when you're gonna have one thousand pounds sold um you can buy another painting from another artist yeah oh. i think it's uh, a great idea yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you for hearts i see hearts a lot yeah. so um thank you for your information sharing information and uh, finally sh showing <laughs> and doing this interview i was uh, i don't know i loved your paintings a lot a lot and also, when I see face to face, is uh, it's more like wow, wow. I can see you. I can see. You. I don't know. It's so it's so uh, magical for me. And uh, I try to uh, reunite other artists to and to also to say to people to buy art and support artists because this is nothing compared to a big business or. <laughs> So you you are having a part of that artist in your home. So it's quite incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for everything. And uh, hope I will save the video and people will watch it and watch it. And later you can put on YouTube channel. Yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I good luck for with everything. With uh, I wish you inspiration, creativity and uh, 
trust me, your work will gonna solve very quickly. <laughs> you just need to imagine that they are going if you want to, because it's also difficult to give. Yeah. Yeah, there are some works, uh, like for me, some paintings that I don't want to sell. And uh, I that think means... it's for every artist. Oh, like yeah, but that means they should have another prize. And that's it. Well, some of them are just, you know, like memories for me. Okay. okay. That I want to keep. Yeah, so keep doing your art. May, uh, you, trust me, you inspire so many people. You just, you don't think about but trust me, you inspire so many even me <laughs> thank you it's yeah, really so, nice to hear yeah so um yeah doing what you you need to do and your soul need to do and um I wish you all the best and uh, see you on instagram <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe hope we can do an exhibition here in uk why not yeah after yeah. the pandemic is I don't know, over, if, if it will ever be over. <laughs> it will be over. Yeah, yeah it, mu it must be some someday. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thank you a lot for your time. And uh, yeah, and see you maybe, you know, somewhere in Europe or here. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? Yes. Yeah, why, why not? Thanks a lot. And yeah, uh, I thanks. will close the video. <laughs> okay, thank you. And thank you for all, all the people who are watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are giving hearts, yeah. yeah. Yeah, thanks. Bye. <laughs>